months ago, our 1967 Volkswagen Beetle was stolen from the front of our house, which sucked because we live in a pretty good neighborhood, but it happened anyways. And from that moment that I realized that the car was stolen, I was like, that's it. I will never see that car again because I had assumed that they had already taken it apart, even like from that very first day. Fast forward to, to yesterday, I got a, um, a call on my cell phone from an unknown ID and I normally don't answer because well, I don't know, does anyone ever answer? Uh, well, I answered yesterday, I had a weird feeling, and it was a cop, and he said, we think we found your car. And I was like, what? No way. So now we're on our way to the this, I guess, like tow truck area, towing station, what do you call them? I don't know. <laughs> And we are going to see if that's our car. Which the cop said already, this is your car for sure. They scratched the VIN number apparently, but some of the numbers do match. And based on the location and whatnot, he says he is very certain that it's our car. But I, on the other hand, I'm like, I don't know. And I won't believe it until I see it. So we are about eight miles away from the car if it is ours and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> drop it off now um but yeah as you can see from the little clips they had a little bit of fun in it but at least we got it back even though it's like destroyed but we got it back so i'm like happy but sad at the same time okay so the car is in my driveway as it should be they found the car in july I don't exactly remember when it was stolen, but it was a few months before that. They found it in July, and because the VIN number was scratched, they had to go through all the bugs that were stolen and everything. There was only a few numbers of the VIN number that were like that you could tell, and it, they matched obviously because it is my car. Um, and based on where they found it, it all matched up. It is vandalized. Um, which sucks, but we got it back. Anyways, everything, we kept wondering, like, why would you vandalize a car? If, like, why would you steal it and vandalize it if it was already nice and fixed up and everything? But then I read the trunk of the car and in Sharpie or some sort of paint marker, I don't know, someone wrote, and I don't cuss, so I won't say the majority of these words. But it is in the previous clip that I showed you. It says, wait until your dumb butt is in jail with no one to talk to and effing starving. I'll be on the next mother effer while you burn in hell and I'll be smiling, B word, again. So when I saw that, I assumed a guy had stolen it, cheated on his girlfriend, and his girlfriend got revenge on the car by 
vandalizing it. Which kind of sucks because she should have vandalized his car, like his actual car, not a stolen one. Because that probably would have been a little more painful to him. But he is in now in jail. Um, I asked the officer and he is in jail for five to six years based on other charges. And this is just going to add to it. I asked him and he said that it was like a girlfriend situation. We'll have to see what we're going to fix what we're going to do but we got it back so it's a win sort of yeah yeah it's a win <laughs> we got it back we got it back yes so don't steal because it's bad you're gonna most likely get caught why spend your whole life wondering like are they gonna get me today be careful today just don't steal